What is up YouTube, it is Lapentara here and today I'm going to be giving you a quick video and some quick advice on the best loadout for quick scoping on an AX50. So, hope you enjoy the video. So, what is up YouTube, my name is Ben aka Lapentara and today, like I said in the intro, I'm going to be speaking through my AX50 loadout for quick scopes and even possibly hip fire kills. So, in this, I go with the five attachments. Uh, one of them, surprisingly, is a perk, and as you can see from the game by, gameplay behind me, I do get quite a few good kills, whether they be quick scoping or whether they be hip fire kills. And I even have to swap at one point, which is a bit bad, I know, for the video, but I do have to kill two people. And I was reloading my sniper, so I decided to pull out my kilo. So for this video, I go through each one individually, and then I will start off mainly by saying I really do need you to click like and subscribe to my channel. It will hopefully grow my channel into the hopes that I get more subscribers and I can really put myself out there on YouTube so please do remember to click and subscribe to the channel so I will first start off with the barrel now the barrel I go with is the barrel 17 inch factory barrel and the pros of that as you can see on the screen are the aim down sight speed and the movement uh, of the gun so that does help massively when you're trying to get quick scopes ADS is all about getting quickly locking into your scope and getting the kill. Normally with these videos I do suggest that you do play around but mainly for the barrel I do think you should stick to my original judgement the 17 inch with its positives of the ADS speed obviously makes it a lot better for the quick scoping as that is one of your main things to do and obviously it means you will be able to get that trigger off in the nick of time. Now for the second one I suggest that you go with the TAC laser. Now the TAC laser um, really does help with that ADS speed, it has got a pro of the aiming stability and has also got aim walking steadiness so it should be available up on the screen very soon and as you can see from the gameplay, I mean I just died there, but as you can see from the gameplay it does massively help when you are trying to get down the side of your gun. Now, there it is on screen, so the aim down sight speed, the aiming stability and the aim walking steadiness is the pro. The only con is that it's visible to enemies, but like I said, when you're trying to quick scope, you're not that fussed about the enemy scene, as he will only have a second or half a second for him to react to you, to him seeing the laser, I should say. I know in a lot in the gameplay in this video, I don't really get that many quick strokes, but I do get some flashy kills. I'm just suggesting that you put this laser on as three pros to one con is very good odds. Now for the third uh, uh, attachment that I've had is the stock, and that's the Syngard Arm Assassin. Its pro is uh, aim down sight speed, and the only con is the aim and stability. But like I mentioned, aim down sight speed is definitely the more important part as you are trying to get quick scope kills and if you're in a pinch then having that extra aim down sight speed does generally help. Uh, like I said I know I keep dying in this video but I'm never saying that I'm a pro gamer, I just enjoy it, it's a lot of fun and I do like mess around but I think this form and this loadout of the gun is one that I really enjoy playing with, it's the one that I got my gun gold to so I do suggest that you stick with that stock. Now the aim and stability, like I said, because you're only trying to get those really quick kills, you aren't trying to uh, sit there and hover, you aren't sit there and trying to camp. You do, if you quit stoke like me, I more enjoy running around the map, trying to get those kills, rather than just sitting and mounting on a ledge or mounting on a wall or near a door on a vehicle. It's much more fun to run around and try and get those kills. So that's why I think aim and stability isn't much needed as much as the aim down sight speed, purely because you are trying to just get the kill quick and then run away to avoid other people. And there was the nice hit fire kill, as you can see, it was pretty beautiful. And that was thanks to the perks and attachments. And as you can see, I've got kind of three in one then. I've got the quick slope, the hard slope, and the hit fire kill. So that's how beastly this gun is. Now I want to move on to the fourth attachment, and that's the rear grip, and that is the stipple grip tape. So as you can see on the screen, the pros are the ADS, the, um, the sprinter fire speed. Now I want to talk more about the sprinter fire, uh, fire speed, as I have previously just spoken about the aim down sight speed quite a lot. And the sprinter fire speed is, as you're running at an enemy, as soon as you both see each other, you're 
main aim really is to both shoot each other. Now with the sprint to fire speed as a con, what that means is you will be able to get that trigger and you'll be able to pull it a lot quicker which means you will be able to let your fire off um, so that is massively helpful. On top of that your aim down slide speed is also boosted so hopefully quick scoping does become that much easier to you. Again, I know in the video I'm doing a lot of hard scopes here, but like I said, I'm not the best at quick scoping, but this has definitely, definitely improved it, so I do urge you to try that. And the final attachment I want to speak to you guys about is on the perch side, and it is sleight of hand. Now, the best thing about this is obviously, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, you reload a lot quicker, and in between shots, because like the sniper, you have to pull back the lever to release another round, then... I definitely recommend having because it does keep you out of a lot of sticky situations. As in the video, I almost died there in the game at the back, but luckily my teammate saved me. But then I think I come around to speaking that. There we go. That was kind of a quick scope, I guess. It wasn't the quickest, it was a bit more doing on the hard scope sort of things. But having that slide of hand as well does mean that if you're on your last round, you use it. And if anyone knows, the 850 has not the best reload time. So having that extra purchase there just to boost it means that you will be able to get your fire off a lot quicker. Now with this perch I normally suggest this is my least favourite one out of them purely because I think it's interchangeable and what I would probably suggest is if you aren't happy with the slide of hand and you think it's just taking up space then I recommend possibly changing it with either getting more rounds in so either going with the 7 or 9 round mag or or you could go for on the muzzle part of the attachment and you could go for the flash guard which obviously muzzles your flash concealer for the gun. But like I suggest, if just have a little play around with the attachment, see which one you like. Personally, the five that I have mentioned in this video are my favourites. They definitely got me a lot better at quick scoping. I know in a few bits there I'm hard scoping, but they have definitely improved my skill for quick scoping. I managed to get this AX50 gold, which I never thought I would be able to do, and the majority of that was thanks to learning how to quick scope and you know, learning which map to use it on. And I won't mention it midway through the video, but definitely pick your map for quick scoping. Like mine is definitely shoot house. Um, like that one there in the video. I managed to get most of my quick scoping ability and most of my quick scope tips from being the map that I like the most being in and that being shoot house, especially with shoot house 24 seven, still being on guys, please, give that a go, you will massively improve as there are a lot of places to lay low and there are a lot of places that enemies do rush at you so practicing your quick scoping is very easy on this map. However if you don't want to go into a live game with the quick scoping stills then one of my final kind of suggestions, I know it's not really to do with the loadout but it's more of getting your ability up and that is to go in a private match and then just quick scope against some bots. Now, I learned this from another YouTuber, and what you can do is you can change the difficulty of the bots. I know that's been the same on previous games, but what you can do is you can put them at like a medium level, which is what I go on, and you can make it a headshot only, so you do have to literally force yourself to quit scope in the head, and I think that does massively help. So, with that, I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, if you've got any recommendations, then please leave them in the comments box below. Thank you so much for watching. Do remember to click that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this. And uh, that is it. Thank you very much, guys. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, then be sure to hit that subscribe button just before you leave.